Hello and welcome to the short board for Parshas Noach from Shlishi to Revi. And this week we will look at the Pasuk of Zion Chav Gimel, which is Vayimach Es Kolak Yokum, at the time of the flood that Hashem blotted out all the existence, Asher Al Pnei Dama, that was upon the earth. The Mikdash Mordechai, a contemporary uh, parish on the Torah, citing Rishonim, asks, why is it that the Dor HaMabel was punished with total destruction, that there was no one left, just about, on the earth, except for Noah and um, a few others, and by the Dor HaFlaga, by the generation of the dispersion, all that they were punished with was that they were dispersed and they had different languages. On top of it, the generation of the flood it says that they will not have Olam Haba, they will not have the future existence in the next world. So what is the difference? So he explains that the difference between the two generations is that the generation of the flood was a generation where their character traits were ingrained in the system. And this character traits is something that is given over hereditarily, usually, not always, and therefore, Hashem had to destroy this character trait of evil, in, and therefore they were they could not be any remembrance of them, and they were totally destroyed. Meanwhile, the generation of dispersion, their character flaw, the rebellion against Hashem, was an intellectual one. An intellectual one, though, is something that's not necessarily carried over from generations to generation. Often it is, but often it's not. Therefore, it was enough to to, to separate them. We see the importance of this character trait and being something that's transmitted genetically by Avram Avinu. When Avram sent Eliezer, his servant, to find a spouse for his son Yitzchak, Eliezer was warned by Avram not to take from the daughters of Canaan, but to take from my family and my place. Meanwhile, the Canaani and the Aramites, which is where Avram was from, they both were, were evil, they both served Avodah Zarah. The difference explained here is that the Canaanites, it was a destructive character trait inside them, and that is something that's passed on to generation to generation. Even given to a tzaddik as one of the partners, that character trait was at risk of being passed on. But as far as the Ar Aramites, they were not necessarily uh, characteristically deficient. They were instead an intellectual issue that was not passed over to the next generation and therefore Yitzhak was allowed to marry from one, someone from Aram. So that explains the difference between uh, the generation of the Dor HaMabel and Dor HaFlaga. Because the character traits were so ingrained and we passed on in the generation of the flood, they were totally destroyed. But the generation of dispersion, it was an intellectual issue and therefore it was not necessarily being passed on and therefore it didn't have to be completely destroyed, just dispersed. Please stay tuned in Lech Lecha as we discuss in detail the topic of Avram and Lot and the arguments between Lot, its shepherds, and Avram's shepherds and what some of the implications and lessons are. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Good Shabbos.